Welcome to Stave Draws. In this video I'm going to show you a frame by frame animation I did in Procreate Dreams. This is the setup. Uh, I imported a background and that was a test background of an old uh, Disney movie. I painted in Procreate and in this video I'm just going to show you uh, my process of doing frame by frame animation, so hand drawn animation. Each frame is a new drawing. And I'm using the flipbook in Procreate Dreams. And it's nice that they have the flipbook because you have a lot more uh, screen to work with. And it's easy, you know, to scroll between the keyframes and then do your adjustments. And this feels a lot like uh, drawing in Procreate because it looks very similar to uh, the UI of Procreate and I'm animating my own character which is called Horus Hippo and he just walks from right to left and then he grabs his uh, fez, his hat and then uh, he greets everyone and I sometimes switch between flipbook and uh, the main timeline because then you can play your animation and you see you know how it works and here it is with the background and I first do the rough sketch and then refine the sketches and after that I'm going to ink the character and you can use the keyframes or the the tracks in the timeline you know to do the separation between your sketch and your ink and your color but you can also use the layers so then everything is contained within one frame so I'm adding a layer to each keyframe to do the inking of the character. Unfortunately, you cannot uh, import your own custom brushes into Procreate Dreams yet. Maybe that will come in the next version. And great thing you know about the flipbook is that you can uh, place the flipbook uh, thumbnails around the screen. So I'm now going to ink the character and I'm using a, a, a default ink brush in Procreate Dreams. And I'm inking everything with thick and thin lines because this is a, a retro character from the 1920s. It's a, a rubber hose animation. And back in the day, they would ink on cells with a crown quill pen. And when you really look at the art from that era, you can see that there are thick and thin lines into the animation. I'm trying to stay as close as possible to, you know, that style. And, you know, it's very similar to drawing in Procreate. The drawing screen has the same buttons like the brush, the smudge, the erase, the layers panel and uh, the color uh, button. And today, it's now November 22nd, so Procreate Dreams is now released worldwide, so everyone can buy the software. So if you already have it, 
I will make more videos, you know, on how everything works. And this is just a frame by frame animation. I'm also doing the coloring on the same layer. So I can choose the colors the same as in Procreate and then use the same colors in each frame. And you can also use uh, color drop. So this is the animation and I have not finished it yet, but I also used a mask because he appears behind the door and then he runs, runs out to the left. I only had this background I painted in, uh, in Procreate and I didn't do any separation. What you can do is use a mask to mask it out. So what I did, I duplicated uh, the background layer and put it on top of the animation. Here is the animation and here is the masked background. I'm just going to turn off the real background and here you can see on the right that this is masked out. What you need to do is if you want to make a mask is to create a new track and then paint over uh, the background so the stuff that you want to mask out paint it in white and when you press on the thumbnail or on the track you get a new menu and there you can choose mask and you can choose a clipping mask but for this I needed a, a layer mask so this is set to a layer mask so in this way you can do 2d animation there's just a lot of more features you can use but you know this is uh, frame by frame animation uh, using the layers uh, for the sketch the ink and also the colors and also using masks in the background. If you have any questions about working in Procreate, please let me know in the comments. Then I'll try to make a video tutorial about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!